previously on Australia's Next Top Model. Hi, models. <laughs> the queen of social media put the girls to task. You're going to become fashion bloggers for the Kardashian collection. Kelly Osborne joined the judging panel and was more than impressed. I'm giving you a 10. And the arrival of selfie winner Zara. Girls, welcome Zara. Put the cat amongst the pigeons. This changes everything. Tonight. Brittany, can we have a couple of questions, please? Yeah. The girls face the press. I am so stressed. At a premiere fashion event. A girl before you sort of pretty much wore the same top. It's definitely my style. I don't think it's appropriate. Then is one of the world's most iconic old couture designers. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Jean-Paul Gaultier joins the judging panel. It's like a fairy tale. Jean-Paul Gaultier in the flesh. I could never have dreamt this. beautiful kitchen. Oh my God. Yeah. I think all of us, in a way, are very kind of threatened by Zara. You know, she has a height, she has a body, she has a, she has everything going for her, so I think she's she, I think she's here to stay. Have a look through it all. It's pretty crazy. I think some of the girls were threatened by her, just because her physical beauty is really powerful. This is like our lounge room. Yeah, we want to meet 22,000 other girls. It's just absolutely insane. I'm going to pick the top because I've never had a top bump. Before. Really? She beat 22,000 other girls. That's great for her. The selfie was okay. It was, it was okay, but we haven't seen her do anything yet. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Jen. I've got some news about this week's challenge. Hello, I was tricked in my tea. <laughs> you look amazing. Come on in. We're all so excited. After last night, anything could happen. So this week, you're going to get a taste of what it's like to be in the public eye and work with the media to get your own image out there. For this challenge, you'll have to style yourself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you'll be walking a real red carpet at a huge fashion event. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm quite scared. You'll have $300 to style yourself, so you really need to take that into account and get something amazing. Oh my god. You'll come head to head with real media oh and you'll have to answer their questions. I am so stressed. I've always been such a boganish sort of talker, and I just don't want that to come out in front of cameras. You'll be judged not only on how you style yourself, but on how you conduct yourself with the media. Oh my God. What do I say to the media, like seriously? And it's not any red carpet event. It's a VIP celebration for fashion icon Jean-Paul Gaultier's exhibition opening night. I'm a huge fan of Jean-Paul Gaultier. He designed the cone bra and completely changed Madonna's look in the 90s. This is really amazing. 
first day in the competition, we are going to a red carpet event, and it's for Sean Paul Gaultier. I'm going to bring everything to my first challenge. Jean Paul Gaultier, yeah, whatever his name is. Oh, and one other thing. The exhibition will be held at the National Gallery of Victoria in Melbourne. What? Out of the girls, I think Lauren is my favourite. We just click straight away. Because we're both from Melbourne and we're so excited. I was just really excited to touch down and get outside. This is home. This is Melbourne. We land in Melbourne and hit the ground running. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. We head straight to Myers where we have to search the whole store for our perfect outfit for Jean-Paul Gaultier's VIP event. And we only have one hour. Running around Myers trying to find the clothes was so stressful. This is definitely too casual. Where do we go? Where do we go? <laughs> I immediately thought, oh my god, how am I going to do this? I was so out of my comfort zone. Think classy. I can shop for jeans and hoodies. Ooh, is this a skirt? That's hot. I don't think I've ever bought myself a skirt. That's not, that's not right, is it? No, that's not right. Oh, why is it with that weird? The first thing I found was skirt, and it was just checkered, and it was cute, and it was very me. I like this skirt. Um, I need a top. I really want to take a risk. I mean, you see Rihanna all the time taking risks with bralettes and the things that she wears, and I want to be like that. I saw a bralette, and most people do wear it under a sheer top, but tonight I'm wearing it all by itself. Okay, well, I like it because it's cropped, and that's so something I would do. Is this, I don't know what, okay. I'm I came try. into the challenge with an outfit in mind. I wanted to pick out elements that really fit Jean-Paul Gaultier. So I've got this one in a small. Yeah, yeah. I like the aspect of modernizing the cone bra and you know, making it more like Phoebe's. What's the price like of the skirt? Um, 159. Lucy and I are trying to work out how much our outfits were. How much is that one? This is 129. This is 170. 170, oh, 170. shit. 70? Oh, and I just started getting the biggest panic. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't count. I can't, I can't do 30, this. what's 30 plus 70? I don't know. 300 exactly. 200 exactly? <laughs> Welcome to Australia's next top model. We don't know how to count. 299. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Now let's go that in a small. Thank you so much. When I saw this amazing assassin vibe buster, yeah, I thought, oh my god, this is perfect. Show me yours. I think I'm gonna go with the white. I think I like and these pants. I like it better in the white, definitely. I'm gonna go this. Hey. So I got my outfit. I was really nervous because I was feeling like it wasn't red carpet enough, but for for this occasion, Jean-Paul Gaultier, he is edgy, he's he's a risk taker. Okay, you what did you get? You need to show me what you got shopping. Okay. I'm scared, I don't want to dirty it. Oh my god, that skirt is amazing. <gasps> Thieves, these are my pants. No, please don't get ink at me.
So this night is huge. The A-list are here. The fashion glitterati are here. Jean-Paul Gaultier is here himself. So as an event, the girls have never seen anything like this. I'm really looking forward to seeing them on the red carpet. I want to see if they can charm the media. But most importantly, I want to see how they've styled themselves tonight. At the gallery, there was like lights and people and cameras and stuff happening everywhere. I'm so nervous about it tonight. The girl behind me is having a freak out. Keep, keep breathing, don't talk. In the first runway, I ended up having a anxiety attack. Brittany's out. I just really don't want to have a panic attack on the red carpet. Alex Perry was standing right there watching me. And I'm like, you've got to do this. You've got to be strong. Brittany, can we have a couple of questions, please? Yes, how are, how are you? you going tonight? I'm good, how are you? She looks cool. She looks cool. You look great, so welcome to Thank the exhibition. That hair just a bit out there, isn't it? Good on it, though. Can you explain your look? Your hair looks amazing, so tell um, us about it. Yeah, I was going for more of an edgy look tonight, I think, just with um, John Paul. Oh, my God, John Paul. And I just started stuttering. I couldn't get it right. John Paul. Is she going to cry? John Paul. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Um, and I decided to freak out. Brittany, can we have a couple of questions, please? Yes. At the gallery, I kept telling myself, you've got to do this, you've got to be strong. Your hair looks amazing, so tell um, us about it. Yeah, I was going for more of an edgy look tonight, I think, just with um, John Paul. Oh, my God. John Paul. And I decided to stuttering. I couldn't get it right. John Paul. Is she going to cry? John Paul. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I decided to freak out. But then I was like, don't stuff up, this is your last chance. John Paul, go to Gaultier. Yes. Yeah, um, it's a bit, he's got an edgier style, so I thought I'd bring that out. And the hair, you know, the braids and the, the queef. A lot of the other girls have gone for a softer look, so I just wanted to bring me into it. She, she did that all right. She did really well. If you could say something in French to Jean Paul Gaultier, what would you say to him? Um, we. Oui. <laughs> it's a good answer, well done. <laughs> you have a great night. Oh, thank you. That was really cute. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> Three weeks ago, I would, would have just given up. I would have been gone. I felt like it was a really big test for me. It felt really good that I overcome that. Phoebe. Alex and I, we both were in St. Top. This is going to be competition. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, how does uh, John Paul Gaultier push the boundaries in fashion, do you think? I think he's always on the edge and he's pushing the envelope. It's just gone a bit risque. Ever since, you know, the Madonna bra in the 90s, you know. Yeah. I've been trying to channel that today, yeah. She Someone. looks pretty really good. She has the body to wear it, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks. Thank you. Have fun. I wanted to be on the red carpet for longer. I wanted more questions. I wanted more photos. I just wanted to live the moment as, as long as I could. Cute top. Is this the same top? Oh, does it look at least the same top? I was really nervous because I was feeling like my outfit wasn't red carpet enough. And trust me and Phoebe to choose the same bustier. Now, who are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing a Saxon by bustier, Wayne by Wayne Cooper pants. Now, what would you say, like, that a girl before you sort of pretty much wore the same top? I know that definitely was not intentional, but Sassen Bide has created an amazing bustier and we both fell in love nice. with it, so we are both wearing it tonight. <laughs> no, you know what, if you wear the same thing, you just have to own it more, I guess. Yeah, fun. Thank you. I like Thank what you Phoebe so had on. It was a shorter dress and she had that, um, that little corset and I think she did a better interpretation of it than Alex. I think she looks really beautiful. Why did you pick this uh, outfit? I feel like it's quite nice for a red carpet. <laughs> okay, Jean Paul's quite um, avant garde though, so yeah. you wanted to be more sophisticated, not, yeah. not, not notice so much? or? Yeah, I kind of wanted to be not so noticed, I guess. Oh, no, hey, you don't. don't. That. Good one to nail, like seriously. <laughs> Jean Paul is known as a bit of a uh, bad boy. Do you like bad boys? 
I love a good bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what a bad boy is. Tell me why you chose this outfit for tonight. Um, I think Jean-Paul Gaultier likes a lot of black. He's very edgy, so I went for something a little bit different. She's the least edgy ever. I know. Jordan. I think it's a bit aged. I think she looks like she's dressing like a mum. Catwalk Mama. <laughs> What's that? You didn't show how to do that. Lauren. I couldn't believe that I was on the red carpet, just like this 17-year-old girl who's meant to be at school. Are, are you prepared to suffer for fashion? Yes, I am. Go home. Well, I'll go home. She's really sweet. Really sweet. And very poised. You know, she's really good. Calm, just breathing. Yeah. I was definitely freaking out about going on the red carpet. It is the total polar opposite of who I am. My style's quite casual. Is this the office intern? She came straight from work. Hi. 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 When I chose the jumpsuit, I was really happy with my decision. I'm wearing Jason Bronston. Pantsuit. You know, it's a bit controversial. It's a red carpet event. So when I got asked by the journalist about it, I knew that I'd done something wrong. Yeah, I just wanted to be comfortable and be myself. You're going to jump on board to make an effort. I've never walked in a red carpet before, but I've seen celebrities go out there wearing the craziest things, and I'm just gonna go out there and take a risk. Oh my God, they're in the bikinis. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, let's all come, we're going to the beach. Is that a bra you're wearing, or? No, it's a bralette. A bralette? Yeah. A bralette. Okay, I've been in the rag trade for like 20 years, I've never heard that word. Yeah. What's a bralette? Um, it's something that you really wear under clothes, but I'm trying to be a bit different and just, Wear it out. Okay, that, it's, that's, that just looks like a lovable bra. I don't think it's appropriate. You think it's appropriate for the red carpet? I think so. I've seen celebrities do it before, so it's definitely my style. Yeah, I, I think they've gotten the idea that he did that corsetry, yeah. you know, the bra. Like, so more I think though, they've all latched theatrical, that. though. This yeah. is a bra. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's very me. I love doing that style. They did ask me heaps of questions about showing too much skin and... You know what? <laughs> It's, it's my outfit. I love it. Your style is what gets you noticed. You guys were great, and I think that you all did a really great job. I'm so proud of you guys. The fact that you could even walk up there without passing out or crying. I think you guys have become actual models. Oh, I loved it. So what I was looking for was a girl that looked incredible and that held herself really well. The girl that I chose, I, I loved her choice of fashion, great hair choices, and something that, that spoke to me about what this event is. You know, generally when you go to a designer's show or to an exhibition, you wear something that embodies what that designer is about, and, and this girl understood that. The winner of this challenge is... So what I was looking for was a girl that looked incredible and that held herself really well. The winner of this challenge is... Brittany. No, it's just the best thing that could have ever happened to me. All that, like, I'm going to have a panic attack, we're done yep. with that. You understood it. You understood what this thing was about. And I saw you almost want to lose it halfway through it. Yep. And you just, you sucked it up and you kept on doing it. And that's what this is about. I had no idea who Jean-Paul was at first, four weeks ago. There's no way I would have done it. But now I just feel like I'm so much more confident. Like, yes, I can do this. So, guys, do you want to know what your scores were? Yeah. Yeah? So, Brittany, you won, and I scored you a 9. <laughs> Phoebe, I scored you an 8.5. Go, Phoebe. Getting that second highest score for the challenge really set me up for a great week, and I pulled off the battle of the bralettes. <laughs> Lauren, I scored you a 7.5. Yeah, Lauren. <laughs> 
Aida, Alex, and Tanea gave you guys a seven. Yay. Lucy, Zara, Jordan, Jess, and Izzy, I scored you all six. I feel like I should have tried harder. Like, I know I didn't try my best. I got equal bottom in my challenge, and it's really disappointing, but I'm hoping that in the photo shoot, I can prove myself and do better. Today's photo shoot is in an alleyway in Melbourne, full of graffiti everywhere. It's just a really cool spot, and I can't even imagine what the photos are going to look like. I'm really nervous about my first photo shoot. I'm scared that I don't really know what to do, and Alex Perry intimidates the hell out of me. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Morning. morning. Girls, welcome to Melbourne's iconic Hosier Lane. This is going to be an incredibly memorable photo shoot for you today. You're going to be shot by one of Australia's leading photographers and indeed the world's. He shot for magazines such as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar and GQ. He shot people including Hugh Jackman, Abby Lee Kershaw and Kate Blanchett. Calls him the magician. Girls, I'd like you to meet the incredible Nick Leary. Today, it's about you being a working model. It is about the relationship between you, the photographer, and the clothes. I'm not interested in anything else other than that. Would you like to know what you're wearing today? Yeah. Or should I say who you're wearing? Yeah. You've each been personally loaned an incredible dress to wear by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oh It is a massive deal. We don't get clothes like this very often. People don't get to shoot Jean-Paul Gaultier. They don't, girls don't get to wear it. So you really need to bring it. Oh, and there's just one more thing. Your guest judge tomorrow is Jean-Paul Gaultier. No! What? Hearing that Jean-Paul Gaultier is on the judging panel, I mean, it raises the stakes so much higher. I'm obsessed with Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What really matters is if Jean-Paul likes us in his clothes, if we can actually work his clothes. So out of all the people that we've had, all the guest judges, I just really want to do well for him. He's the biggest designer in the world, but I'm not really worried about photo shoots. I feel like I'm good at photo shoots. So you're going to do very well today. I'll be Hopefully. there. Jean. I'll be watching. Don't worry. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Thank you. See you in a minute. Thank you. And Lucy, we have you in something very different. Oh, my God. Oh. Getting equal bottom in the challenge was really devastating. And now going into the photo shoot, I'm just going to really have to bring it. <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> Careful. My Jean-Paul Gaultier outfit was amazing. A like classic, but punk. Lucy. You know the other stuff that you've done really cute? This is not that. Yeah. This is a tough dress. That garage door is working for you. Just give me a couple of different shapes in from there as well. Throw yourself into the, the garage door. I did feel like I had a bit to prove to Alex because I did want to be that fierce model that they want. I want to be high fashion. And more attitude, these last few frames. I think she's doing really, really, really good. Really good. Really good. Yeah, and she's a different yeah, we've character. we've got these. They're great. Yeah. Next. They're really great. Good yeah. Job. Alex Perry did say that I did do great while I was there, so I was just like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you feel good about that? Yes. Hi. 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 Hi, Jess. Beautiful dress. Oh, amazing. It was really important for me to do my best in the photo shoot this week because I did get such a low score on my challenge. I know that I had to be strong and confident, but I was scared and nervous. And when I am nervous, it does show through. Lean off that, Jess. Use yeah. that to lean off. We can, yeah. You can find these beautiful things as well. Yeah. 
at the beginning of the shoot, everything was okay. But as the shoot did progress, like I just felt like I wasn't doing what I needed to do. I was just very tense and I felt out of place. I didn't feel like I was myself. I just want a little more in here and really bring this strength and power. I don't feel like I presented myself with the right energy and charisma at that time that I could have. Okay, beautiful, gorgeous. The dress is amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Zaida. Amazing outfit. What's the matter? Shoes. No? You look pissed off. We haven't even started. No, I am not. not. Yeah, I was annoyed because I was given shoes that were my size. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's do it. She's in the worst mood. Today's photo shoot wearing a laneway in Melbourne, wearing jumper dresses. I feel like I'm good at photo shoots, but I've never um, had to wear anything like that before. The dress is amazing. Aida is beautiful. Her physicality is amazing. When she walked in, I just thought, look at you, that she was pissed off. Amazing outfit. What's the matter? Shoes. I was given shoes that weren't my size. No? You look pissed off, we haven't even started. No, I am not. You know? Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, I was annoyed because they should have shoes that are my size. I'm not gonna complain much, but yeah. Okay, let's get some great pictures. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, she's let's do it. She's in the worst mood. Yeah. <sighs> you know what I can say? It's rude. Yeah. If you don't like your shoes, you're gonna have to suck it up, unfortunately. You just can't act like that. If you wanna be a model, wear the shoes. I'm, I'm just going to tell you straight, I think the dress looks much better standing. Okay. Yeah. So I think you should just... I wasn't sure of what to do. Like, am I supposed to be strong or simple or fierce? Like, I was just kind of nervous and I didn't know what to do with the dress. It's got no structure. The more you throw it out, the more you give it, like, show leg, do that, the better it is. When you crunch it up into your hand, yep. it looks like crap. Like, you can flick it up and then let it go, put your hand yeah. straight back down, you know what I mean? No. Can, can I just have a look at you just walking a couple of steps up this way? Can you have a look at that again? I wanted to say to her, run down the laneway. The dress would have gone crazy. It would have been so beautiful, but couldn't walk three steps forward, let alone run. Oh. Oops. She nearly, like, broke her ankle. I found the dress a bit hard to move in, but at the end, everything worked out, so, yeah. We're done. When, but water sheets are my strongest point, so yeah. Wow, amazing! I've never, ever, ever in my life worn a dress like what I was wearing. Look at you go! It works in those angles, yeah. I think it's quite beautiful. That, that's what confidence does, it turns a girl into that. Easy. Beautiful already. Yeah, boom. Got it. Tanaya. Now we're talking. That was it. Done. Good. Phoebe, definitely better. So just work that whole space, okay? Yeah, beautiful. Jordan, I'm just going to bring you, just come forward. Okay. You know? Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. There we go. I think we I got think it. I got it. She looks amazing. Step over this Actually, put your other foot over it or just... Yeah, I think we got it. I just got you in one picture. Okay, I'll give you this. You're short. I am. But you know how to pose. That's all too. But have been in the middle lately, so I really want to get up the top and show everyone that I do have what it takes to, you know, get really big scores. So beautiful, wow, great dress. Lauren, yes. I reckon that's the dress of the day. 
Really? Yeah, I really I do. I love it too. Just go dramatic on it. It's the most amazing dress I've ever worn. Try the hand down, actually, darling. That made me feel really instantly really good in it from the start. Look, she looks extraordinary. No, now she's, she's really good. really beautiful. You can try that arm up again, darling. I'll just move that light for you. Keep the string. Nick, I reckon we have it. Hoping I've done enough to stay in the competition. I don't want to go home yet. I don't want to go back to school. I'm definitely feeling a bit nervous for the photo shoot today, considering it's my first one. And I just feel like it's definitely adding a bit of pressure with Alex on set. Amazing. OK, selfie winner. You're going to give us a good picture today? I am. Yeah? I'm ready for it. Good or great? Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, I came across as really confident, but I think the stress really got to me. Really try and give me some shape here as well, OK? She's holding onto that pole for grim life. 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 Give me more, honey. Give me more. I was too focused on the fact that it was my first photo shoot, and I kept telling myself that all the other girls will have great pictures because they've done it before. And I just wasn't confident in myself. Give me something fun with your face. Go rah! I felt as if I looked awkward. I think the nerves just got the better of me again. I think that's it, Nick. I think we got it. How do you feel? Not good. It's your first shoot. Relax. Are you just happy? No, what else? Oh, wow. What's wrong? I feel like I did You did good. I was out there watching you. You did I really was good. good. I know how you feel, but every first shoot's always going to be like that. Like, I've only been here a week, so I just... All I could think about was going home. Next, Jean-Paul Gaultier, who will make their mark. I find that truly in the photo you are fantastic. I'm one of the biggest names in fashion. You will come to Paris? I feel like I was thrown right in the deep end. I wasn't expecting it to be so full on. I thought I would be fine, but I wasn't. I definitely feel like the pressure got to me a bit this week. Everyone has a time where it's just going to rattle them because it is so stressful. I'm really nervous and excited about going into the elimination. No, I'm not going home. I'm not going home. I'm determined to impress Jean-Paul Gaultier today. I want him to see me as a model. I want him to book me one day. I want to walk for him one day. Jean-Paul is right in front of me. Are you real right now? Is this really happening? Am I dreaming? Jean-Paul Gaultier in the flesh. I'm just so, so, so excited. I could never have dreamt this. I can't believe that I've gone from not even being able to pronounce his name, but now all I want is to be able to model his clothes to be his new muse. Muse, muse. Good morning, girls. Good morning. So let me introduce this week's special guest. He's one of the world's most iconic old couture designers. It would be impossible to deny the formidable influence this one man has had on the world of fashion, art and design. Please make him welcome, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Personally, I just am such a big fan and am in awe. Thank you very much. And me, I should say, I am also a fan of you. You are very beautiful and handsome. Oh. <laughs> it's not every day that you can see a Miss Universe. No. Oh. <laughs> so I should say that I'm very excited to be there, part of the jury of Australia Next Top Model. And I am very, very excited to see also the photo that you did in my clothes.
This week we wanted you to become real working models. For the challenge you had to style yourself, then walk the red carpet for Jean-Paul Gaultier's exhibition opening. For the photo shoot, you had to wear one of Jean-Paul's amazing creations. So as always, girls, your scores will be tallied. So your challenge score and your photo shoot score. And the girl with the lowest score will be going home and will no longer be in the running to be Australia's next top model. Brittany, you were the winner on the red carpet this week, so you're up first. Hello. Hello. So you win? Yeah. Congratulations. But I heard that you asked to have like a Mohican yeah. on the head. Yeah, yeah. So you were like that during yeah. the exhibition. <laughs> and I heard that she was a truck driver. She is a truck driver. She's a She's pretty truck driver. She's still a truck driver. Marvelous. Not like it's like a fairy tale. No, it's coming into fashion from a, yeah. that's far, you know. So you have to drive your career like that, like yeah. you were doing with the truck. <laughs> a truck driver in leopard print pants. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at your shot. Wow. Oh, Hi, y'all. Wow. wow. <laughs> do you love this? Yeah, I do. More than anything else, I think the confidence of winning the challenge helped you do great things when you were taking your photos, and it's like a real breakthrough moment for you. So because of that, I'm going to give you a nine. Mm, thank you so much. I think I agree. I think this week you have turned a corner. You look different. Well, confidence. Happier. Confidence, I'm confidence. Hey, yeah. But I like it. For this photo, I'm going to give you an eight. Jean-Paul, do you love this? I love it. I think she's great. I think she's great in the dress. But the attitude and how she looks at the camera, it's great. I think that, you know, the dress is like uh, glamorous, but at the same time rock and roll, yeah. as you are. Honestly, I like you. I like your style. For that photo, I will give you also an eight. So, Brittany, with your challenge score and your photo shoot score, a combined score is 34 out of 40. Congratulations. Here you go. Thank you. Congrats. Good girl. Knowing that Jean-Paul Gaultier really liked me, it just made me feel amazing. Yeah, it's just so cool. Jess, step forward. How was your week been? It was fun, but challenging. Why did you find it challenging? I don't know. I felt a bit out of place. Oh. Uh, your confidence level has dropped. Oh. I felt like... I just want to keep improving and I feel a bit stagnant. You can't put that much pressure on yourself. Yeah, I guess. I just want to make sure that I'm not at the bottom. Let's have a look at your photo. You look beautiful here. It's like in a big busy laneway and it's like, you know, could be better. It's not the best shot in the world, but it's not terrible. I think you've done really well in this shot. And you look stunning. Um, so I'm going to give you a 7.5. I would have loved it if you'd done a little bit more, gave it a little bit more personality. Um, but I think it's solid and I'm going to give you an 8. Me, I should say that uh, honestly, I see a different girl there than I see you now but I prefer you as I see here. Yeah. So I give you a 4.5. So your combined score with your challenge score is a 26 out of 40. Thank you. I was gutted that I received a 4.5 from Jean-Paul. I was just standing up there trying not to cry. Lucy, step forward. I really hope that Jean-Paul Gaultier likes my photo because I just want to stay in here more than anything. I don't want to be remembered for my failure on the red carpet. Hello. Hi. So amazing to meet you. <laughs> don't friendship. be, don't be. Your accent is so cute. It's so lovely. Oh it's so lovely. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's have a look at your photo. I love your photo. I give a 7.5. Thank you. I think this is such a strong photo. 
and I just think it's a different side of you, which I applaud. So I'm giving you an eight. Oh, thank you. I'm going to give you a good solid eight. So your combined score this week is a 29.5. Yeah. I'm going to get your photo. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So Naya, all right, let's have a look at your photo. I want you to let rip. I want to see way better than that. So, Taneo, your combined score, 28 out of 40. Izzy, let's have a look at your photo. I think every part of this shot, I'm a fan of. That gives you a 28.5. Oh, wow. <laughs> Phoebe? She has beautiful legs and the photo, but the shape, I don't like so much the position. So, your total is a 28 out of 40? It's been a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure. Thank you. Alex, let's have a look at your photo. Wow. Oh, you got it in one frame. That's just amazing. I put you a seven for the photo. Thank you. So your combined score is a 30.5. Jordan? All right, let's have a look at your photo. I will give you a five five. They think it's good, it can be even better. The feedback wasn't great, and I can't believe I got a 5.5 .5 from Jean-Paul himself. I'm giving you a six. I think I could be in big trouble here. That's a 25.5. Brittany, you're at the top of the ladder. And Jordan, you're at the bottom. And there is a risk that you'll be going home. Aida, you're up next. How was the photo shoot? Um, the photo shoot was good. It was a bit intimidating having you there, but um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, tell me, because you, you were packing a bit of attitude, I thought, when you first came out, and I said to you, what's, like, what's the matter? And you said nothing. Yeah. But I didn't want to complain I, about the shoes anymore, so... But you already did, like, you, you had a, a moment with the stylist complaining yeah. about the shoes. Your job is to get that photo. I felt that there was, like, a bad energy before we even started. Not at all. Okay, then we might agree to disagree on that. The last two weeks, you've had an amazing photo shoot, so, you know, there's high expectations. So let's see if this is enough to keep you safe this week. Let's see if this is enough to keep you safe this week. Thoughts? Um, I don't like the photo. What do you like about it? Like, I don't look comfortable in that photo. I wasn't expecting this, so... I don't reckon you came in front of the camera in a good place. I thought this dress was beautiful. I thought it looked beautiful on you. It was this soft, beautiful dress that moved and floated and you kept grabbing it like up into bunches it was aggressive you didn't understand what you were wearing i think you can do so much better than this yeah based on this i'm going to give you a five yeah. i think you have to learn a little more to move even in front of the camera me i felt that because there even i don't recognize you so much you know I think you are even more beautiful in real. For that shot, I will give you four. So the last two weeks, you've had an amazing photo shoot, and this one isn't your best, you would agree, right? Yeah. For this shot, I'm going to give you a six. Yeah. So the combined score is a 22 out of 40. Which puts me on the bottom. It's upsetting because, like, I've never been at the bottom with photo sheets. I, I don't think I deserve to go home. Lauren, step forward. Hello. How do you think you went in the photo shoot? I think I did OK. You had an amazing dress, right? Yeah, so as soon as you said that it was the dress of the day, I was like, OK, if anything goes wrong with the shot, then it's obviously my fault. Your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. Can I, um, I need to buy that dress. <laughs> you just sold me the dress. That's amazing. Wow. She looks so hot. This shot blows me away. I'm going to give you a 9.5. Thank you. Uh, me, I find that truly in the photo you are fantastic. For the photo there, I put nine. Wow. I can't believe one of the biggest designers in the world has given me a nine for my photo. That just makes me feel so great. We needed to get this shot from you because it was the last few weeks. I was thinking it was so beautiful in real life. Mm. Hadn't seen a picture yet. And, and this is that picture. That's my girl. Giving you an eight. Thank you. So that gives you a total of 34. Which put you at the top. <laughs> Equal with Brittany. I'm so proud of you. Having my best friend up at the top of the ladder with me, that was awesome. Aida, with only one goal to be scored, you're sitting at the bottom of the ladder and could be going home. Zara, you're the last one to be scored. Please step forward. Zara, you are our selfie winner. It's your first week in the house. How have you found it? I was a bit nervous at my photo shoot, and I think that showed at some point. I'm just hoping there's a shot, so... Let's have a look at your photo. I don't think it's the best angle for you. Look at you here. It looked incredible, but you weren't doing anything. From here down, you were like a block of wood. You have to practice every, uh, in everything. I think there is some potential to do more and better. Do you think this photo will keep you safe? <sighs> Not feeling it. <laughs> It's like, I know I could have done so much better. <laughs> I want it so badly, it's just. Zara, you need a score of 22 or more to go above Aida and stay in the competition. Aida, please step forward, it's down to the two of you. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Zara, it's time to score your picture. You know, you're such a beautiful girl, but as I said, I just think you have the potential to do more. So you need to work your angles. Yeah. I'll give you a 6.5. Okay. You have a lot to practice, but for your first photo, I should give you five. Zara, you need a five or more from Alex to stay safe. So it's pretty brutal, first week in, and it could be last week in. That's what this industry's like. You've got to, you've got to deliver every time. And unfortunately, it wasn't your best week. I'm giving you a six. Zara, that means you are safe and you're still in the running to be Australia's next top model. You Aida, I'm sorry, that means you have the lowest score and that means you will no longer be in the running to be Australia's next top model. Stay positive, girls. Oh, my God. Oh, Aida. Such a beautiful girl. Congratulations for all that you did and thank you for being part of Australia's next top model. My <laughs> Okay, you're the strongest woman I've ever met in my whole entire life. It's disappointing. I, I wasn't expecting to go home so soon. I love you. Flawless. It was a good experience. Um, it was good getting to know all the girls, and I've learned a lot. I've tried my best, and I don't know what went wrong. My standards were very high, so I was expecting so much. But... So congratulations, girls. You've made it through another week. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Jean-Paul Gaultier. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. You know, the girls have, been, they have enjoyed it. And 
so have we. So thank you. Thank you very much. For me too, it has been an enormous pleasure. You know, it was truly really like a great day. And maybe I have a little surprise. I should like to ask one of the girls, one certain type of girl, to come to Paris for one of my show in the Cotwalk for next season. I always dream to have like a truck driver in my couture show. <laughs> Zach Brittany, do you want to? Are you serious? Yes, I am no, serious. <laughs> so Brittany, Brittany, you will come to Paris? Okay. So you will be <laughs> in the show. <laughs> Thank you, Britain. And bravo to all the guys. Bravo to all. I hope I can stand up to his expectations. I'm just going to practice and practice and practice. I'm definitely so excited, I can't wait for it. It's gonna be crazy. Next time on Australia's Next Top Model. Hey! Hi! What is going on? Your new style is coming soon. Oh my. It's mega! Oh, oh, You're going red. Why? You look like a completely different person. I knew it was going to take her to the next level.